hello friends this is one question that is solve for the real values of x for this given expression that is x minus 1 by x raised to the power half plus 1 minus 1 by x raised to the power half is equal to x we have to solve this expression and find the real values of x that satisfies this expression so let's see how it is done this is the expression given first we will consider this part that is x minus 1 by x raised to the power half equal to a so squaring this uh, both the sides we will obtain a square is equal to x minus 1 by x similarly this term will be assumed to be b that is 1 minus 1 by x raised to the power half now we square it and we obtain b square is equal to 1 minus 1 by x therefore the difference of the two squares that is a square minus b square is equal to x minus 1 after simplifying we will obtain x minus 1 now a and b these things were assumed so if we put the values of this thing in this given expression this expression can be written as a plus b is equal to x this is the equation one for the future reference we will multiply a minus b on both the sides of the equal to so we will obtain a minus b times a plus b equal to x times of a minus b now this is the uh, this is a formula of a square minus b square so we will write a square minus b square in terms in place of this and a square minus b square's value we obtained as x minus 1 we will put it over here so x minus 1 is equal to x times of a minus b and bringing all the x terms to one side we will obtain x minus 1 whole by x is equal to a minus b so that is what it is written over here that a minus b is equal to x minus 1 whole by x so from the first slide the equation 1 we recall as a plus b is equal to x this is from the first slide we have recalled it now this expression can be written as a minus b is equal to 1 minus 1 by x that is we are dividing with x on the numerator and denominator this is the equation 2 and the equation 1 so we will add equation 1 and equation 2 that is this is the equation 1 a plus b is equal to x and a minus b is equal to 1 minus 1 by x this is the equation 2 if we add it then this b terms will get cancelled and what we will be left is 2a is equal to x plus 1 minus x uh, minus 1 by x so 2a is equal to x plus 1 minus 1 by x bringing all the x terms together we obtain 2a is equal to x minus 1 by x plus 1 now x minus 1 by x value is a square so 2a is equal to a square plus 1 bringing all the a terms means we are writing it in the equation form it is obtained as a square minus 2a plus 1 equal to 0 or this can be written as a, a minus 1 whole square equal to 0 so the values of a is 2 equal roots that is 1 comma 1 so we will take the value of a equal to 1 the value of a equal to 1 can be put over here in this uh, in this part so we will obtain that x minus 1 by x raised to the power half is equal to 1 so upon simplifying we obtain x minus 1 by x is equal to 1 because this is the power half so uh, and here and here it is 1 so we can eliminate this power so x minus 1 by x is equal to 1 this can be simplified means this multiplying x on both the sides of the equal to to simplify this we obtain uh, x square minus 1 is equal to x this is a quadratic equation x square minus 1 equal to x is a quadratic equation and uh, this is written in the equation form by using this um, formula for finding the root of this given quadratic that is x is equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac by 2a by using this formula we can easily find the root of this quadratic equation in this formula the values of a b and c are the coefficients of x square x and the constant term respectively therefore the value of a is 1 b is minus 1 and c is minus 1 so if we put all these three values in this given formula then we will obtain x is equal to 1 plus minus root under 1 plus 4 by 2 that is 1 plus minus root 5 by 2 this is the value of x that we obtained so from this we will obtain two roots the first root is 1 plus root 5 by 2 that is the phi or the golden ratio the second root is negative reciprocal of this phi the golden ratio that is 1 minus root 5 by 2 so this is the negative reciprocal of the golden ratio first we will take the negative root and try to substitute the problem will arise that since uh, we will substitute this value in terms in place of x so mm, a square root term added with another square root term will never give a negative number and since the value of x after substituting this negative root is a negative number so it is absurd and can never be possible in numerical terms 2.618 is not equal to minus 0.618 hence this negative root cannot be the root of this given expression 
so we will consider the positive root the positive root is 1 plus root 5 by 2 if we put it in this given expression this will satisfy and the amazing fact is this 1 plus root 5 by 2 is called the golden ratio so this given expression has a divine solution because the solution is a golden ratio so what is the importance of this golden ratio the the theory behind the golden ratio let's know what is this golden ratio the golden ratio is pi is equal to 1 plus root 5 by 2 this is this ratio is obtained in the human faces that is the distance between the eyes and nose between the two eyes between the two lips between the cheeks between the ears means all the ratios inside the human body is in the golden ratio also the seeds that are arranged in the sunflower follow the golden ratio pattern also the shape of egg is also in the golden ratio pattern similarly the famous painting of mona lisa is in the golden ratio the milky way galaxy also follows the golden ratio the spiral of the milky way galaxy is also in the ratio of golden ratio this is the kepler's triangle it follows the golden ratio that is 1 phi and phi square the famous golden ratio book was written by gary b meisner the divine beauty of mathematics why it is divine because golden ratio is found in everywhere in the nature from milky way galaxies to the shape of an egg i hope that i cleared the concept of golden ratio and it is really amazing that how a solution of this given complex um, expression is equal to a golden ratio so i can say that this expression has a divine solution thank you